Hallelujah. Just one thing that I want everyone under the influence of my voice to understand is that Calvary, the voice of Calvary, is the voice of redemption, is the voice of restoration. The voice of Calvary is the voice of salvation. The voice of Calvary is that same voice, that same voice that called Lazarus out of the tomb. That voice, that powerful voice that says, Lazarus, come forth. That is the voice of Calvary. It's that same voice of Calvary was what Jesus referred to in John 10 and 27 when he says, my sheep, they hear my voice. So if you are the sheep of Christ, and maybe you have lost your way, I need you to know right now that the voice of Calvary is calling you calling you out of despondency, calling you out of discouragement, calling you from your backsliding state to come back to the fold where you belong, to your place of strength, your place of grace, your place of victory. The voice of Calvary, the same voice in Matthew 11 and 28 that says, come unto me all you that labor and are heavy laden, said, I will give you rest. Says my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Take my yoke upon you. Right now, I want to call for anyone who may be saying, I'm hearing the voice of Calvary because Calvary is calling you. He said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. And that's the, the door of your heart. Jesus is knocking at the door of someone's heart right now, right now, at this moment. And the reasonable response is to say, here I am. Here I am, Jesus. So if there's anyone around here, if there's anyone under the influence of my voice, you know that you're far away from God. Maybe you said a prayer before to submit your life to Jesus. But right now, Calvary is calling you. It's calling you. Maybe you, 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 you lost your way after you said a prayer. It's time to come back home. So I'm calling all the backsliders. I'm calling everyone who will say, I can hear the voice of Calvary. I want to come out of despondency, discouragement. I want to come out from the lost path to come to the right path. Calvary is calling you tonight. Calvary is calling you. Calvary is calling you. And I love to say prayer for everyone that wants to respond to the voice of Calvary. As you hear the sound this moment, Please know that Calvary is calling you. Will you just, whatever you are, hear the sound of my voice, just put your hands on your heart. And if you don't mind, I want you to say this prayer after me tonight, if you know that Calvary is calling you. Something new will start in your heart, something new will start in your life, and you will never be the same again. As you hear the voice of Calvary, say after me, say, Lord Jesus, I come to you right now. I'm in need of salvation. I cannot save myself. I renounce my sin and my way of life that is displeasing to you. I know by your grace, my debt has been paid. So I release myself to you as I accept you as my Lord and my personal Savior. Come into my heart. Be my Lord, be my Savior. Be my King, be my Father be my friend. Thank you, Father, for accepting me just the way I am. I love to pray for everyone saying the prayer with me. I can see every, many people with their hands on their heart. Can I pray for you right now? Lord, in the name of Jesus, I speak grace over everyone responding to the voice of Calvary. And I ask that you perfect what you have started in their lives. Fill them with your spirit. Let that voice continue to ring in their heart until they come to the fullness, fullness of your love, fullness of your spirit, and fullness of maturity in you. We thank you for your grace that is ever available. And we thank you for that which you have started in every life from this moment forward. Thank you, everlasting Father. 
in the precious name of Jesus who are praying. Come on, give it up to Jesus tonight.